Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today we're gonna be talking about one of the most annoying problems that you can encounter if you work from home and you use WhatsApp on your PC. But this is the workaround that I've been doing in order to use WhatsApp on my PC every time Windows refuses to install it, okay? So I'm gonna show you the process and the problems that I encounter and see if it's similar to what you're experiencing. If it is, then this might be the solution for you, okay? So let's get started. Now, if you try to install WhatsApp and you get this error message saying something happened on our end, and when you click it, you will get this error code. Yeah, uh, even restarting your PC is not gonna help. You can actually retry to see if it will show up again as such. And there you go, it happened again. So what I would recommend you to do is just cancel the download and go to these two websites. I'm gonna share the link on the description box below. So the first website will show you the latest version of WhatsApp in the Microsoft Store. The second one is where you can download it. So what you need to do is copy the link from the website and go to this website right here, StoreGuard, paste it in the search box and hit a check button or search. What you do once it shows you the results is simply click on the one with the .msix bundle extension, all right? So just click on it and sometimes your browser might block it. So what you need to do is open it in a new window, hit enter. Because if you try to open it in a new tab, it's just gonna close it automatically again. So just download the file and here's the actual file. So what you need to do is just keep it somewhere where you can easily find it and right click on it and click copy as path, all right? What you need next is Windows PowerShell. So you can just simply run it or run it as administrator if you want to. Once you have PowerShell running, you need to type in this command and I'm going to put it in the description box. You can just copy and paste it. And then go back to the file, right click on the file, click copy as path and then paste it. All right. As such. Now, once you have that going, simply hit enter. And it will install WhatsApp for you. Now to test if it worked, simply look for a WhatsApp on your search bar launch it and you're good to go a couple of things that you might want to take note of you can try to double click on the file that you downloaded it will attempt to install whatsapp but normally when you get this error message that says something happened on our end it's just gonna fail so don't do it that way use powershell to install it and you're good to go i hope this video helps you out if you're encountering problems with whatsapp if you like the video if you find any value in the video please consider hitting like and subscribe share it with your friends who are experiencing the same issues consider being a channel member or simply hit the super thanks button it will definitely help the channel out a lot i would love to continue doing this for you so please spread the word all right so again thank you so much for watching everybody love everybody peace